Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user reached out saying, Hey, I'm having trouble exporting from Canva and bringing it into Tinkercad. I've got a solution, so let's get cracking. All right, friends. So, this is the amazing design that was shared with me. To bring it into Tinkercad, we need to make it a SVG. So, what you would do is click share, download, and choose SVG. Now the problem is I don't have Pro, so I can't do that. I do have a solution. We're gonna do that with the snipping tool. So if you type snip, you will find your snipping tool app if you're using a Windows PC. If you're using another PC, all we're doing is getting a screenshot. When you hit new, grab the design, and then click save. I'm gonna save it in my downloads folder. It'll be called Happy Camper 2. That is because I've already done this once. Once you've got it saved, you're going to visit Pick SVG. This is a website where you can upload a image. We're going to upload the Happy Camper. When you do, it turns it into an SVG that quickly. Now, when you look at it, notice the R does not look quite like I want. So you've got options. I'm going to switch to strong, give it a moment. I don't like how that one's fuzzy. I'm going to switch to Edge 4, I've been practicing with these to find the one I like. Edge 4, I think, is my favorite. Don't forget you've got eight of these to pick from. When you're done, simply hit Download SVG. You can see I call it Happy Camper SVG. I'm going to put a 2 after that and just save it again. At that point, it's time to move to Tinkercad. When you visit Tinkercad, I always choose Sign In with Google. We're going to make a new 3D design. I'm going to name this Happy Camper in case I'm ever tracking it down. And it shows you how to change file names. Then we're going to go to Import and we're going to choose the Happy Camper SVG. We only want the art. Notice that made the image smaller. I don't want it 300. So I'm actually going to change this to 150 and press Enter. It scales that automatically and when I hit Import, Bam! We have a version of that project to play with. Now, if you look at the edge, see how those aren't real sweet? Watch this. All you got to do is grab the quality and bump it up, and you will have a perfectly round version of your project. How cool is that? Now, I'm not sure what the user is doing with this project, but what I wanted to do for fun real quick was I'm going to make this a green, and I'm going to make it a custom green bringing it out here a little bit more mellow and then I'm just gonna bring in a cylinder I'm gonna give it round sides I'm gonna hold down shift and stretch it to crazyville although I want that to be smaller let's get that aligned real quick and we will use alt shift which makes this even faster so now if I select just the orange one and do alt shift it stays around the middle. I can stretch it out like that till it looks the way I want. And if I make that one red and I keep the other one green, it ends up looking pretty darn cute. Real quickly, I'm going to click on settings and I'm going to hide my grid just because that makes for better pictures when we're checking it out. Now, of course, friends, if you have the pro version of Canva, you can just export as an SVG and that should work. If that option does not work, I'd love to have somebody share an actual SVG that you exported from Canva so I can try and figure out what's wrong. Of course, friends, if you found this video useful, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day